Okay, here's the generator. Um, pretty easy to operate. Here's the front panel, so that's your on-off switch. You have to turn that on for it to run. Um, that's your voltmeter. Tells you what voltage you're pushing out. Uh, your main breaker, it's on. Here's your AC, 120 volt, 30 amp. And here's 120 volt with, or sorry, 120 volt with 20 amp outlets. Okay, so to start it, there's a few things you gotta do. First, you gotta turn this on. And you gotta come over here to the petcock. So it shows you here, fuel is off in this position, on in that position. So we look at it right now, it's in the off position. So we're gonna push this down. That's an on. So what that's doing is it's allowing fuel from the fuel tank to go down into the carburetor. Okay, and your choke is right here. And that's closed and open. You put it to close to start it. And then once it starts, you flip it to open and it'll run normal. Um, and then there's your pull start. So you just pull start it. This is the handle. It's on wheels. So you can just pick it up and move it pretty easy wherever you need it to go. And it's got a little handle latch there. Okay, so we've got it in the choking the off position. Petcock is open and the light switch is on. So you should just be able to pull it and it'll start. Once it started, turn the choke to open. And then once you've turned it off, make sure you turn the pet cock off as well. You don't want it leaking oil or leaking fuel into the carburetor because you'll lose fuel. And then I always just move this to closed makes it easy to start the next time around. And then here's your fuel gauge. Full, empty, right now it's full. So easy to check, see if you need gas.